Hey, hey, hey. Welcome. It's time to focus your energy for the week. Come on in and join me. Terry Ann Hyman here, Natural Forces Studio in the Empowered Spirit Circle on Facebook. I'm also streaming on Instagram tonight as well. Come on in and join me. Let's talk about the cosmic forces. Let's look at our energy system and let's focus for the week. Let's see what's ahead. Come on in and join me. Tell me what's going on. We're going to pick some cards, some beautiful cards tonight, working with the shamans. They help us to really kind of look at some of those influences underneath. They really aligned quite well with the cosmic forces going on right now. So let me know what's going on for you. How has the week been? Last week we talked about the energy building. We moved into the new season. So a lot of excitement, a lot of energy going on like that. Let me know how you felt. How was the week for you? Were you productive? Were you a little bit um, sluggish and trying to let go of summer? Let me know how it was for you. All right. And as I do that, I'm going to actually share this broadcast. And you could do the same. That would be so great. Hit the share. All right. And let people know that this is going on and that it is a way that you can come into that spiritual energy for yourself, for your week, and pull your energy in together and align with the cosmic forces. Why do we do that? Why do we do that? I say we do that because it helps us to know where we are. It helps us to work with the elements of life to know where we are, to work better with our spirit, with our soul energy. Definitely. All right, I'm looking for it on Facebook so I can share this out. And if you're not in my Empowered Spirit group, come on over to the group. I generally come in on Wednesdays, talk about stuff, and let you know what's going on as well. The Empowered Spirit Circle on Facebook. All right, I'm waiting for it to load up here and I'll share it. We're going to talk about the cosmic forces as we move into this last phase of the moon. All right, that's kind of where we're at. And now how that is affecting your system to go forward as well. So, hey there, I see people coming in. Give me a thumbs up. Give me a like. All right, here we go. It's all coming around. There we go. All right, I'm going to save this. I'm going to share it out. Share it in a group. So come on in. I'd love to invite you into my Empowered Spirit group. It's fun. We share stuff. I've been actually posting a lot more lately because I'll tell you, I am looking for more information. I want to know what you know about spiritual literacy, especially the spiritual literacy in your life. What does that mean? How do we bring this forward? What do we do? Are you using a sacred space? What is a sacred space? Are you using your intuition? What is your intuition? So I have been posting lots of questions in the group, which is a lot of fun to hear the comments so that I can build the material and what I talk about according to what's needed. All right, let me share this on the timeline. There we go. And like I said, if you would share it out as well, I would really appreciate it. All right, so what is going on? We start off the week with a little bit of a void, of course, all right? So we're not gonna get a whole lot done as we come into Monday. Monday is not a day to start new intentions. It's really not. Instead, it's really the opportunity to kind of pull yourself back kind of do a little bit of, all right, let me take stock of what's going on, all right? Reassess, relook at what's going on and the things that have been happening since we stepped into the new season. So since last week, really. That's what we want to do. We're in the last phase of the moon. We move into the dark of the moon by the weekend. So we're going to have all that releasing energy going on. How do we align with that? It's a perfect opportunity to kind of continue to let go. So this is where we kind of step back, check in, what did I bring from the summer? What is the story that's still playing? And what can I let go of? And that's the energy where we are, where we start to release out some of that excess emotional energy. Maybe it's some mental chatter, all right? Maybe it's part of the physical. Maybe you have some kind of injury or something that you need to check in with. Underneath those physical ailments is unresolved emotional energy, right? So that's what we're looking at as we begin that beginning of the week energy. Now, the thing that we have going on as well that we're going to see is that I kind of find interesting. It's like a little bit of some of that coming out of the shadow of the Pluto energy. All right. Pluto's starting to turn around. It's going to square in there with Mercury. And that's going to create a little bit of that need for us to kind of go deeper within. It's going to be a little bit of that seriousness that we look at. All right. It actually came up in the cards, too. You'll see where it came up with the crow card. But it's going to be that need to... Maybe even have a serious conversation, like go deep, all right? Maybe you're going to express it, or maybe you're not. Maybe you're going to write it out, or maybe you're going to just realize it. But some of that energy will come up, especially as we go into Tuesday. And then the big energy that all my astrology groups are talking about, really, is the Venus retrograde. 
All right, and this happens often, but it's still gonna happen and come through now. And what this is gonna do is start to affect a little bit of that relationship energy, relationship with your, maybe even old lovers coming back in, or maybe you'll revisit things that went wrong with old lovers. So some of that energy is gonna be brought up. I like to kind of look at this as like second chakra energy. All right, so some of that, that energy of relationships and that passion to drive, also two finances. We're gonna be looking and reviewing finances with some of this energy as well. So that's gonna come in by the middle of the week. All right, then we're gonna move into dark of the moon over the weekend, all right, because we have a new moon next week, but dark of the moon. And right now, really, that time you can use as like, again, pulling your energy in. Also, too, it's a good time to kind of get into like a hobby or a craft or something that's gonna help you focus your energy in a creative way, all right, so that you don't get caught in all that chatter. You don't get caught in the, in the struggle of looking at relationships and all, but focus it into a very creative energy. All right, I did a little bit of that like this weekend, like I'm gonna make jewelry, I have the time, I'm gonna sit and I'm just gonna focus and make jewelry and feel really good, which means I do actually will have jewelry for sale. I've had no inventory lately. But when we focus on that kind of thing, when we get into that vibe, that's how we can use some of that energy in a really, really healthy and productive way. All right. So as we go to begin the week, again, we start tomorrow off on like a void of course a little bit. So don't really feel like you're going to get anything done. All right. Just kind of take a step back, review and renew, kind of relook at what are you working on this fall? What are you harvesting? And then as the moon is releasing, right, we're in that last phase. This is where you let go of excess energy, probably from the summer. What story have you been telling yourself over and over and over? All right, energy falls in follows intention, so we can release that energy out as well. As we move into Tuesday, we're going to come into a little bit of that serious energy. Like I was saying, you might have to have a deep conversation with somebody. You might have discussed something that's really really kind of deep in there, right? Not the surface level, but that pulling in energy, pulling it deep, whether you be able to express it or think of it or bring it forward, that's really kind of up to how you like to work with that kind of energy yourself. But know that it's coming around. All right, and then again, you'll hear a little bit about Venus retrograde coming forward, looking at relationships, revisiting old patterns. Maybe, like I said, maybe somebody from your past will come forward and look at that kind of energy as well as the finances too. And then into the end of the week, It'll be a fun weekend, nice and creative, but we do dark of the moon, and sometimes dark of the moon can push people down, all right? So be careful with that. All right, so that's kind of what we have going on for the week. Now, as we move into this energy, what I'd really like to focus on for the meditation this evening is really kind of pulling that energy in, centering the energy. I talked a little bit about this on the Yike today, about how I like to kind of bring the energy in to then where I'm aware of everything else going around. I open my ears and I open up my feeling body and my subtle body and I just kind of notice all that energy. But what it does is it helps to center me instead of me being the one that's all the chatter and all the one around. So that's what we're gonna focus on this evening. We have some really great cards and I'd like to bring the cards into the meditation as we do it because they're so much in alignment with the cosmic forces. I love when that happens. All right, we're gonna talk about the council card, all right, and how call in your guides, call in that help for you. The wise energy above us that we bring forward is really important, all right? And I think I mentioned the crow too, that deepness going deep within, all right? So if you can, join me for a few minutes and then we'll pick the cards and go from there. All right, let's light a little sage. Wherever you are, if you can, just take a moment. Oh, and just exhale out. Let it all go. Take another deep inhale. And just bring the energy up through the body, up into the higher dimensions. This is where you call in your counsel. Those are all your guides, your advisors, your finance people, all the people that work with you. Have a team. We do this with the Akashic Records. We have a council. Inhaling, tap into the higher dimensions. And as you exhale, pull that energy down through the body, deep into the earth. Let that energy come forward. Connect as you breathe in, open up the energy body. And call in all those parts you scattered along all week, just call them in. Call them in back to that centered energy. Exhale deep into the earth. And again, inhale. Calling in your guide, your counsel. And exhale, pull the energy in. Feeling that connection deep with Mother Earth. Feel the feet on the floor, sending the energy down deep into the earth. 
and just feel all those parts coming back into your center. Begin to be aware of sitting here, taking a moment, offering gratitude for this season, gratitude for all the many things in your life, good, bad, or indifferent, right? That's how we grow, that's how we evolve. Take another deep inhale, pulling in your energy, exhaling down deep into the earth. And we honor this new season. In the medicine wheel, we sit in the direction of the west, where the sun sets, where the light comes into the darkness. Where we look at our lives, we look at those relationships, we look at that beautiful sunset energy, and we offer the harvest of gratitude for the harvest that we have. We honor all the directions to the west, the north, the east, and the south, above us, below us, right into the very center. Opening your heart to this season, to this time, to all the things that are in your life right now. Feel yourself sitting on the earth, sitting in your chair, laying down wherever you are right this moment, and begin to pull your energy out around you. And just begin to notice the sounds around you. And then as you take another exhale, release out. And let that energy expand again. Go a little further. Open the ears. Open the auric field. What do you notice? Can you feel into the room around you? Your whole house? Let it go out even further. How much energy can you feel out there? Can you get quiet and let all that other energy around you move? Feel that centering coming in. Pull it in. Notice the energy around you. Being very present with your energy. Inhaling. And exhaling. Pulling the energy deep within. Holding that vibration right in the heart. And imagine a green light coming right from the heart, shining out. Take it another step further, a blue light coming out from the Ajna, the third eye. Shine the light out there for you. Feeling yourself grounded and centered. So we open up to a new week. Bringing the awareness back, inhaling. And exhaling. Bringing that awareness back. Feels good to center. Feels good to slow down. Especially on a Sunday night, all right? We all get a little anxious starting that new week off, right? Pull it in, slow down. All right, so the questions, the cards I mean for this evening are from the Shaman Oracles, Colette Baron reads. They're beautiful cards. So I put forth the questions of like, how can we tune in to that guidance? How can we look around for the signs in our life to be connected to that part of us. So the first card that comes forward is 11, which in a master number is the council. And I love this card. In the Kashuk Records, we work with this all the time. It's like bring your council in. We all have these guides. Call them in. When we work in the Kashuk Records, we even go into a room that like we sit around a table and we see our guides and we see those people that are there for us. So this reminds us to really use that guidance that we have. Do you have a financial guide? Do you have a Reiki guide? Do you have a healing guide? Do you have a business guide? And we call these energies in, a creative guide. And we ask to work together. And this is a beautiful card. Not to doubt the power of it all. Eleven's a master number. Know you have this guidance for you. Know you have this guidance for you. Look for the signs this week as you move through it. Who is your counsel? Who is those that work with you and through you and surround you? Call them in. This is a time that we honor that energy, a beautiful time. All right, so how do we do this? How do we work through to get to that place? If you chose a card, one, two, or three. If you didn't, choose one now, one, two, or three. All right, so the first card that comes up is the rattle. All right, but it's reversed. Love this card, love the rattles. I know in Native American tradition, the women held the rattles, the men had the drums. But for all of this, this can be used, all right? The rattle is a sign, is a way to, to, to signal the calling of in. Calling in, the signal that, that spirit is around, the calling in of all that energy, knowing it's there, shaking it up, moving the energy. So in the reverse position, that always means there's a little bit of medicine that comes with this card. So if this is the card you chose, this is kind of to remind you that you have the tools. 
all right? You don't have to shout it out there, all right? Bring the energy in a little bit more. Be a little bit more subtle with your asking. Let it come from the heart, all right? Don't be so loud out there you forget the why. This is exactly what this card is about. But know you have those tools out there that can help you to make the noises, all right? Now, the second card, if you chose number two, was the crow. I mentioned the crow. The crow is a calling, all right? It's that energy of putting the energy out there, and it goes deep. It sees stuff, and it knows stuff. It's got that deep, dark, indigo black color, all right? This is that energy that aligns with that Pluto square energy that's coming in the middle of the week, all right? So look for the signs. Look for the birds around you, right? Look for these signs. What is that deep energy about for you? That's what's going to be coming forward. Listen and hear the call of the crow. Look for the signs as you move out there this week for messages about the deep spirit, that, that, that energy that does need to come forward for you. All right? And that's going to have, help you also to know who you need to call in for help. Does that make sense? Right? Give me a thumbs up if that makes sense. All right. And then the third card, if you chose card number three, this is Pachamama. All right, this is the card that connects us with all life, all energy, all elders, and Mother Earth, Pachamama. All right, we say that at the, medicine, at the sweat lodges, Pachamama. We call them Pachamama. But in the medicine that this card reminds us is that many times we can get to feeling isolated. We can get to feeling the earth or that the earth or spirit or the universe or God, however you want to look at it, God, generator, organizer, destroyer, all right? However you want to look at that, it's not in touch with you. And so we begin to feel isolated. All right, this reminds you of the Reiki principles, Just And get outside. Don't forget, just because the weather's shifting, be sure to get outside as well. Connect with that. Know that you're always connected, always acorns. Acorns is abundance. They were falling from everywhere. The universe is abundant. So are we. So tune into that energy. Tune into that energy. Hey, T, you had three. Yes. So just reconnect. Get outside. You know, the leaves are probably starting to change up there, right? Just realize that this is what we go through, a shedding and letting go, all right? So this is how we really bring this energy in. So if this was the card, the three, the reverse energy, who is your counsel for this? Who do you call in to feel that connection to your path, to your earth, to the abundance in your life, to that beautiful blessing of Mother Earth, right? Definitely. All right, so yes, those are the cards for today. I love them. I think they're beautiful that they align with our energy as the um, cosmic energy comes forward in view of your life. Call them in to help you, all right? Quiet the voice a little bit if you need to, especially if you're out there, out there, out there. So let some of that rattle energy be a little softer, all right? Because it was in the reverse position. That's the medicine. The crow reminds us to go deep. Go deep. Bring those secrets forward. The more we shine light, the better it is. And Pachamama reminds us that we aren't isolated. Not to isolate ourselves. Reach out. Get help. Tune in. It's all there for you. All right. So let you and let me know what you find, okay? As we move through this week, let's see. I do have a new podcast dropping this week. I'm starting to go a little further with spiritual literacy. Talk about that. And this week we're going to talk about one of the tools that we use is intuition. All right, yes, just in time, too. I'm having a great event down at Forma. Actually, if you sign up, the link is up there. Get a Bring a friend for free code. Yes, that's going on right now. It's not going to be forever, so be sure and sign up right away. There's more details in the link. But it's going to be a great morning networking, working with other people, talking about our intuition, talking about sacred space, a fun morning coming up. All right, and the meditation on the uh, podcast this week is all about the third eye. Get into a little more information about what the third eye is, how it works, how it does, and a beautiful meditation to help align your third eye energy. So that will drop on Wednesday. All right, that's what's going on. Let me know if you'd like a card. All right, I would be glad to bring a question if you have one. I see a bunch of people joining in. How's everybody doing? All right, I'm going to just open it up for any cards. If anybody would like one, post there. Let's see, what else is going on? I've got a Reiki 1 class coming up, Birmingham Yoga or Natural Forces Studio anyway, on the 20th. So if you haven't yet been attuned to Reiki, come join me. It's a great class. Learn about your energy system as well. All right, going to be doing some pop-ups over in Homewood, all right? Some restorative yoga, do some readings for the Halloween time. So look for that information as well. All right, Jessica, you have a question for me. I would love to, and Cindy, you too. Ask me a question if you'd like to the question. Let's see if I have that. Cindy both and Jessica come with the question. All right. Here we go. All right. 
Gonna give them a second to respond. Beautiful out here, we had a beautiful weekend. Really all those signs of the fall energy around. All right, one more second here. All right, so I don't see the response here. So Cindy, I'm just gonna pull your card for you and then Jessica for you. Just asking spirit what you need to know. All right, so the card that comes forward, Cindy, is the coyote. This is trickster energy, trickster energy. We love the coyote, <laughs> not always, right? So that's one of the things that we need to do. We need to be careful when the trickster energy comes around. This is when sometimes spirit will give you not exactly what you ask for, but more of what you need. So we have to be careful of that energy. Sometimes when we think, oh, this is the way to go, this is the way to go, that can trick us. All right, so that's what this energy is about. All right, so for something that you're doing in your life, Cindy, be careful and make sure that you look at both sides of the story. Many times when trickster energy comes around, there is a big lesson. We may not always want to go down that path, so just look and see. Don't be so quick to turn it around either. All right, all right, let's see. Jessica, you chose card two. More info on the crow's medicine for me. All right, let's see what else comes in with that. All right, so the, ooh, the rainbow. All right, so the rainbow is that bridge of energy. All right, the rainbow kind of aligns with our chakra energy. The rainbow, we always love to see them. So there is some kind of energy coming forward for bridging some of your work. All right, that's beautiful, right? Wow, that's really perfect. So look for those messages this week. How can you bridge the worlds of what you're doing? All right, lots of times when we see that, right? We see that, we see that curve and it's like from reality to earth to over, right? What a great thing that is. So the crow can bring you messages, since you're asking me to put these together, can bring you messages on how to bridge your worlds. All right, also too, rainbows remind us of the miracles in our lives. So remove any kind of doubt or justice about or judgment about how you're gonna do that. Just open up to that miracle possibility, all right? Alexandra and then TSC, you're asking a question too. I'd like a card. What message do my guides have for me regarding how I can keep moving forward with, sorry, I'm reaching over here with, I don't see the hook, with my goals. All right. What message do my guides regarding how I can keep moving forward? All right. So Alexandra, this is a beautiful card. This is one that's very dear to me. This is the ghost dance, but it is reversed. So first let's talk about the ghost dance. The ghost dance is a very beautiful spiritual deep energy that brings in the energy of your ancestors. The, the Lakota used to do the native uh, ghost dancing to keep them remembered, or to keep reminding that ghost dance was that way would bring back those practices. So in the reverse position, it's kind of like don't lose hope and don't don't give up or don't think that the power of your ancestral energy is going to you know be any less than it is. So how you can you move forward? How can you take this energy is to bring that message in through you. Go back into your heart. What is that deep part of what you're doing your work for with your goals? What is that for? Come back to the heart and put that in there. Sometimes we try to get too far to the end result. And so then we lose sight of all that other stuff and we're so hard here that we forget. What is the why? Put that forward. What is the why? All right. So hope that's helpful. I love this card. I love it. I love the ghost dance. Look that up. All right, Spirit, Tina's asking to need to know about selling your father-in-law's home and taking this next step. So, hmm, interesting, you got the hummingbird. So the hummingbird is about the power of that smallness. All right, so Tina, to me, that's almost relating like take the next step, but don't take it too big. All right, there's power in the smallness. All right, the hummingbird comes and hums to us. They're so little, but they're so powerful. So in terms of taking that next step, take a little step, but take a step. All right, and then you'll take another step and you'll be guided to do that. Don't get to the end. Kind of what I say with the other card too. But the hummingbird reminds us of that beautiful power. Everybody loves them. They have a high vibration and they're so little. All right, so little can be very powerful. That's what this card can remind you to do. So very powerful. Take a small step. All right. All right. Hey, Patrick, happy birthday. We're going to draw a card for you. Kimberly, you're next. I don't know if you had a card or not, but the card that comes up next, I mean a question, so whatever your question you're asking, the card that comes up is the Ancient Ones. And this is number one in this deck. All right, so this is kind of similar to the Council, but this is about the Ancient Ones are all those masters and teachers that open the door. This actually opened the door for these cards. So this is an energy that you can tap into for the work in your life of what you're doing, all right? Get that guidance from above. Where is that master energy that you can align with to help you open the doors to the spiritual realms of your own life. All right, a beautiful card. Number one that comes up. 
Small steps are helpful. I'm trying to get ahead of myself. I hear you on that one. Yes, I know that one too. All right, so that was what was that for you, Kimberly. I hope that helps. All right. Oh, thank you. Okay, great. Hey, Patrick, let's draw a card for you. All right. So, Patrick, the card for you, kind of interesting here, is the giveaway, but it's reversed. So, usually the giveaway is always about, like, kind of that energy of, like, giving something away. When we give away, we open our heart, we give of service. But being reversed, it's about giving something to yourself, and it's your birthday. I love that. So, make sure that you do give something to yourself for this birthday. Really pull it into you, because you're, you're so beautiful and generous and, you know, loving to other people. Make sure you pull some of that in for yourself. All right, that's the kind of the medicine of this card is not to forget you at all. All right, happy birthday. And what a nice card. Give to the self. I love it. All right. All right, I don't know if I missed anybody. If I missed you, let me know. Hey, hey, Andy, I see you're here. Hey, Brooke, I see you guys are here too. All right, guys, don't forget, locally, November 3rd, super excited. Developing Intuition is a business-making tool. Very excited to offer this down at Forma. The link is in the... In the um, Notes, whatever you call it. I was going to say show notes, but that's podcast terms. All right, the link is there. Get Bring a friend for free. You got a code. I'm telling you now, it's not going to be there forever. So you can bring a friend for free, share the cost, whatever. Brunch is included. Very excited. Got Farm Bowl coming, Revelator Coffee. And we've got some people supporting it. The Fearless Ohm is going to be there. Linda Mays Welch is going to be there with her Single Moms Empowerment. And we're still pulling in people. Super excited to be offering this as well. All right, don't forget to sign up for that. Podcast drops on Wednesday. As always, look for the signs as you move through this week, all right? It's going to be a little push-pull kind of week. We're going to go deep. We're going to go into the dark of the moon. But it's all good. Review your life. Let go again of whatever's not working, all right? Come join us over in the restorative where we have lots of fun with that September fall energy through the restorative practice. All right, guys, thanks again so much for joining me. I love offering this energy. We have some great cards for the week. Take this spiritual energy. Look for the signs in your life. Feel that deepness and that richness that you have within your spirit. All right, to your spirit. Namaste. Thanks for joining me.